Chapter 47 Jeremiah 47, 1-7 Prophecy against the Philistines 1. Pharaoh Necho probably smote Gaza on his return after defeating Josiah at Majdo, 2 Chronicles 35, 20, Grotius. Or, Pharaoh Hophra, Jeremiah 37, 5, 7, is intended, probably on his return from his fruitless attempt to save Jerusalem from the Chaldeans, he smote Gaza in order that his expedition might not be thought altogether in vain, Calvin, Am 1, 6, 7. 2. Waters, Isaiah 8, 7. The Chaldeans from the north are compared to the overwhelming waters of their own Euphrates. The smiting of Gaza was to be only the prelude of a greater disaster to the Philistines. Nebuzaradan was left by Nebuchadnezzar, after he had taken Jerusalem, to subdue the rest of the adjoining cities and country. 3. Compare Jeremiah 4, 29. Fathers. Not look back to. Children each shall think only of his own safety, not even the fathers regarding their own children. So desperate shall be the calamity that men shall divest themselves of the natural affections. For feebleness of hands. The hands, the principal instruments of action, shall have lost all power, their whole hope shall be in their feet. 4. Every helper, the Philistines, being neighbours to the Phoenicians of Tyre and Sidon, would naturally make common cause with them in the case of invasion. These cities would have no help left when the Philistines should be destroyed. Kafta, the Kaftorim and Philistines both came from Ezraim, Genesis 10, 13, 14. The Philistines are said to have been delivered by God from Kafta, Am 9, 7. Perhaps before the time of Moses they dwelt near and were subjugated by the Kaftorim, Deuteronomy 2, 23, and subsequently delivered. The remnant means here those still left after the Egyptians had attacked Gaza and Palestine, or rather, those left of the Kaftorim after the Chaldeans had attacked them previous to their attack on the Philistines. Some identify Kafta with Cappadocia, Gesnius, with Crete, Ezekiel 25, 16, Cherithims, Kitto, Cyprus. Between Palestine and Idumea there was a city Caparissa, and their close connection with Palestine on the one hand, and Egypt, Mizraim, Genesis 10, 13, 14, on the other hand, makes this locality the most likely. 5. Boldness. Cut thyself Palestine is represented as a female who has torn off her hair and cut her flesh, the heathenish, Leviticus 19, 28, token of mourning, Jeremiah 48, 37. Their valley, the long strip of low plain occupied by the Philistines along the Mediterranean, west of the mountains of Judea. The Septuagint reads Anakim, the remains of whom were settled in those regions, Numbers 13, 28. Joshua dislodged them so that none were left but in Gaza, Gath, and Ashdod, Joshua 11, 21, 22. But the parallel, Jeremiah 47, 7, Ashkelon. The sea, sure, established English version here, Ashkelon. Their valley. 6. Jeremiah, in the person of the Philistines afflicting themselves, Jeremiah 47, 5, apostrophizes the sword of the Lord, entreating mercy, compare Deuteronomy 32, 41, Ezekiel 21, 3 to 5, 9, 10. Up thyself, Hebrew, gather thyself that is, retire or return. 7. Jeremiah, from addressing the sword in the second person, turns to his hearers and speaks of it in the third person. Lord. Given it a charge, Ezekiel 14, 17. The seashore, the strip of land between the mountains and Mediterranean, held by the Philistines, their valley, see on Jeremiah 47, 5. There hath he appointed it. Micah 6, 9. The hath he ordered it to rage. Nine.